This short presentation introduces the concept of return versus risk optimization using components from the corresponding module found under Optimal's eLearning service. In order for financial organizations to operate in a sound manner, they must have appropriate governance and technology infrastructure in place to capture, measure, report, and oversee risk exposure at all levels of the organization. As it pertains to regulatory compliance, risk management plays a central role in helping to satisfy requirements for risk exposure and capital reporting under an array of domestic and global regulations. In their current state, market risk management and other risk centers are widely perceived as necessary costs of doing business. Revenue generating centers in financial organizations generally perceive risk management as a drag on performance. As it relates to portfolio return, the organizational mindset may be incorrectly perceived as one of maximizing return, independent of or loosely related to risk management considerations. As it relates to portfolio risk, the organizational mindset may be incorrectly perceived as one of reducing or eliminating risk independent of or loosely related to front office return considerations. A simple expression of risk-adjusted return is a ratio of portfolio return to portfolio risk. This is also referred to as the Sharpe ratio. A more complete expression of this formula is portfolio return minus a benchmark return, which is known as excess return or alpha, divided by the volatility of this excess return or alpha. Variations of this expression include the trainer and sortino ratios. The trainer ratio, for example, divides excess return by the portfolio's beta, the portfolio's sensitivity to changes in the underlying benchmark. An appropriate benchmark can be the S&P 500 index or some appropriate non-risk-free benchmark. As a simplified model, a benchmark or risk-free return of 0% can be assumed in order to reduce the equation to portfolio return divided by portfolio risk. Revenue generating centers often work in different silos. These silos may exist along asset classes such as fixed income, credit, equities, and commodities. The aggregate of all risk limits within which the different silos operate make up the organization's risk appetite. Classic portfolio theory teaches that asset allocation is the largest driver of overall portfolio return, followed by selection within an asset class. Conceptually, each of these classes has an expected return and risk profile. In a rapidly developing information era, it is gradually becoming easier to measure return and volatility on just about any investment or business activity, whether through direct observation or proxy measurement. The risk component of the optimization exercise lends itself directly to the capabilities and functions carried out by risk management in different types of organizations. The simplest expression is volatility. Other expressions of risk can be value at risk, stress scenario testing, and other risk expressions that are appropriate for the organization's business model. The availability of risk measurement infrastructure presents a strategic opportunity to leverage risk capabilities in order to contribute to front office's capital allocation process in a value-added partnership. Portfolio optimization helps to solve for the most ideal combinations or attributions of different asset classes that have the highest return to risk ratio. The optimization exercise generates a cloud of portfolio return versus risk coordinates. Portfolios with the highest return to risk ratio represent what is known as the efficient frontier. Different models can be applied to project asset class returns into the future, either based on a historical or forward-looking basis. Mathematical models can be used to forecast interest rates, for example, and subsequently fixed income asset class returns. As it relates to market data inputs, volatility and correlation may be calculated over different time horizons depending on the nature and characteristics of the financial organization's business model. 
For asset classes that are less transparent from a market discovery perspective, proxy investments may be available for modeling volatility and correlation. The comprehensive portfolio simulation exercise generally includes important considerations as it relates to transaction costs, short selling, leverage, and asset class weight constraints. As a universal rule, rewards or returns are only achieved through the assumption of risk. Risk management is not about avoiding risk. Its highest purpose is to help guide the investment allocation process and help identify the efficient frontier. Optimal MRM invites you to visit its e-learning store to learn more about this and other available market risk modules online.